The rasqueado that done with the eye finger of the right hand is definitely the most used and probably even the most overused rasqueado technique in both classical and flamenco guitar. It's very subtle and has a lot of nuances, and if those nuances and subtleties are not applied correctly, then it can make even the most advanced player sound more like a beginner. Today I'm going to break down exactly how to play and how to improve the index finger rasqueado correctly with all the nuances and subtleties that are necessary to make you sound like an advanced and musical player. If you remember from the introductory video that I made on the nine rasqueados for classical and flamenco guitar, you'll remember that the index finger rasqueado sounds like this. that said, let's break it down, add in some exercises, and make sure that you're learning and improving this technique the right way. In order to get the eye finger to sound good and not sound like a robot like this, we want to make sure to practice it with subtlety. So first, of course, you want to make sure that your position is correct, make sure your arm is comfortably rested on the side of the guitar. It could be your bicep or your forearm, depending on your height. Uh, lower back comfortably straight. Don't hunch at the neck or the upper back. And then you want to make sure that you have natural flexion in the wrist. Again, rest your hand on the, your arm on the guitar, let your hand hang. Don't flex any more than that. You don't want to compress those tendons and those nerves, right? A little bit less would be ideal. Obviously, no extension, right? And then minimizing ulnar deviation. You want to minimize this uh, bending at the side, okay? So set up correctly. You know, put our thumb on the sixth string, all right? This is a good reference, and we play like this often in flamenco anyway, uh, and even in classical for some of these movements. So Thumb here, if you want the sixth string to ring out, then you can lift up a little bit, have your thumb touching the top of the guitar very lightly, right? What we wanna do now is thumb on the sixth string, and we wanna practice each movement of this uh, of technique, the downstroke and the upstroke separately, okay? I'm gonna show you from the side because I think you'll get a better picture of what's going on. So the downstroke is going to occur starting at the sixth string. Even though I'm touching the sixth string with my thumb, I wanna start and aim at the sixth string uh, because that's going to help me practice hitting all the strings even when I don't uh, mute the six string. So practice the thumb, practice with the thumb on the six string first. You want to make sure that the string is hitting the nail in the middle, the right? middle of the nail, not the tip, but the middle of the nail, okay? Because you want to rake down. I'm going to rake down like that. So when I play with the eye finger like this down, I'm raking. Keep the finger pretty loose. Think about just flicking it out like a whip. Okay, all the strings, sixth string to first string. And you can start with the finger planted on the sixth string and then go down just to get a feel. All right, so plant, play, plant, play. And then next, make sure to set up above the sixth string and then snap through all the strings, all right? Let's try the one where we are above the sixth string. We're gonna do three, so one, two, three, play. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, Play one, two, three, play one more, one, two, three, play. Okay, notice these fingers are just hanging out, they're loose, they're not engaged, they're not curled, they're not super extended, just relaxed. Okay, and that's going to be the downstroke of I. If I did a chord on this, this guy, I'll just use open strings, All right? That's what it's going to sound like. I could do uh, an A minor chord. The other part of this is the upstroke. Now this is where a lot of people will make a mistake uh, as beginners, and that mistake is to play first too hard on the way up and to play too many strings. So this is more subtle. This is kind of an accompaniment. Think of it as if it were two instruments, the downstroke is the main instrument and the upstroke is the accompaniment. We want the accompaniment to be a little bit softer, right? So we want to really relax the finger, even the tip joint it can bend a little bit. See if I get closer so you can hear that. You can see that. So. If I go up, I'm gonna hit the first three or four strings for now. As you get better at this, you can aim for higher strings, the strings in the middle. For now, the first three or four strings, it doesn't matter which one, but this is the movement, right? I'm using the whole finger from the knuckle here, right? I'm not doing this, right? So the whole finger, but I am allowing the tip joint to relax. Okay, so notice the difference in volumes between this 
and this. All right, of course I'm hitting more strings on the way down, that's part of it, but this is just a more forceful movement and this one is a lot more subtle. Okay, so let's practice just, uh, let's do open strings. Let's practice just the first three strings. If you hit the fourth one, no big deal. We're gonna go one, two, three, play. One, two, three, play. One more, one, two, three, play. Notice that when I do it, after I go up and complete my movement, I'm relaxing. So let's do that one more time. Make sure you relax. One, two, three, play, okay? Now we combine. Next one, we're gonna do I down, I up, okay? I down, I up. Okay, I'm gonna mute my strings in between. So let's go one, two, three, I, I, mute. One, two, three, I, I, one, two, three, I, I. Okay, as you get better, do it a little faster. Okay, it's rare that you do this. There are a couple of classical tunes that use the eye up and down movement like this, but in the, for the most part, you're gonna alternate and do some just upstrokes by themselves often, right? Once again, it should be no surprise that I'm going to say, please practice the index finger rasqueado with variation. So use variability when you practice, dynamics, tempo, tone, rhythm. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're applying the subtlety and nuances that I mentioned in the video, but don't always keep it like that. You, you wanna make it musical. So play around with it, experiment, have fun doing it, and make sure it doesn't always sound the same. If you like this video, make sure you check out the next one in the series over here, where I talk about the IAI triplet extension contraction rasqueado. And if you haven't seen it yet, don't forget to check out the introductory video on all nine rasqueados here, so you can get an overview of everything and see how they're done. But before you do that, don't forget to click the like button to help this video uh, appear higher in the search results. And of course, click the notification bell to make sure that you know when I post another video. Thank you so much, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.